our relations, as I said, are, uh, are very strong historical linkages. We have fraternal bonds of friendship, shared values, and common aspirations for the socio-economic development of our two countries. And as I have told you, Mr. President, my administration is committed to uh, building on that solid foundation and elevating those relations to uh, the next level. As you know, Mr. President, uh, the inaugural uh, JCC uh, on 1st of July 2019, we signed a memorandum of understanding establishing uh, the Joint Commission for Cooperation between the, our two countries. We hosted the inaugural uh, Kenya-South Sudan uh, JCC. Uh, I would request you, Your Excellency, that the second session be held in South Sudan at a date that convenient to you and uh, the teams. There was an agreement on uh, the fiber optic uh, on the highway uh, between Kenya and uh, South Sudan, which was supposed to uh, be, to be signed next week on Monday. on Monday, which is two days from now. Uh, we were proposing that uh, because all the items have been agreed uh, and you and me are here, Mr. President, we can actually do the signing here and conclude it uh, because I think all the items have been agreed. Again, if the two teams can agree, we can witness that agreement because um, the digital space internet and uh, fiber optic and what comes with it is really the future both for Kenya and uh, for South Sudan and uh, the availability of uh, that digital infrastructure is good for our countries for our young people for entrepreneurship for learning and for many other things including delivery of health and public and uh, government services uh, it will be a very welcome development. As you are aware, Your Excellency, in Kenya, we are moving all government services to the digital space. We are in the final stages of uh, setting aside land for South Sudan, both in Mombasa and in Lamu. The ministry is concerned, and my minister for lands is here uh, to confirm to you, Your Excellency, that that process is ongoing. And uh, before the end of this year, we will have made uh, that commitment uh, true. Uh, Your Excellency, let me also confirm to you that uh, we are also keen on the Kenya-South Sudan uh, international boundary uh, and the delineation of that boundary uh, at, at an appropriate moment when our two teams can undertake that exercise. Uh, we believe that uh, that should uh, go on. Uh, I think it is between Mount Mogila on one end to where we have the interaction or the junction between Kenya, South Sudan, and, uh, and Uganda. Uh, Your Excellency, again, uh, I think our ministers for infrastructure have agreed that we support the extension of the road from Kenya uh, all the way to Juba, that we work with uh, the World Bank or other institutions that are willing. I think the World Bank have shown interest and uh, that uh, that road will be a transboundary road uh, connecting our two countries as part of the uh, Lapset uh, corridor. And I want to report to you, Your Excellency, that uh, we have actually tarmacked close to 600 kilometers from Lamu through Garissa now to Isiolo. And it's only remaining, I think, a section of 200 or 300 kilometers. And we can connect to the road going to South Sudan. Uh, that would significantly reduce the cargo distance between Juba and uh, Lamu or Mombasa for that matter and make business and uh, trade uh, 
and imports and exports a lot more convenient for uh, our two countries.